Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I have for you a new uh, first look and unboxing of a new petrified fish. This is the PF04 or also known as Haverog. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I had a petrified fish. It is maybe because uh, yes, they did release a few different uh, models but nothing was with my uh, preferred uh, scale color variant and that is of course brown micarta so when this dropped i ordered it directly from the online store and aliexpress it took a little bit to come to me but uh, i have it now so inside the box they they really do not waste money so you will get extra sets of screws minus the pivot of course and a microfiber cloth. So this is basically, in my opinion, everything what you should have in the box, you should need. No extra uh, papers, nobody cares about, about those uh, things right there, but just maybe even you don't need the cloth because you probably have lots of cloths or old t-shirts you can chop up and use them, but thank you for that. This is always good to have because sometimes you will strip a uh, screw if you do use carrier knife, disassemble it and clean it, then this can happen, so this is uh, really helpful to have this. You will significantly cost, cut, cut down your cost of uh, maintenance and warranty. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, really nice. They are using the right uh, micarta, which is my uh, preferred uh, brown shade uh, canvas uh, style. Not too heavy on the resin, but a uh, decent amount. And uh, now I can also show you how it looks like uh, natural and uh, preloaded with <laughs> with oil. So uh, let's see what we have on the table. So we have the, on the table the PFP 04 KMW uh, designed by Andrew. Uh, I did specifically ask a uh, representative of uh, Petrified Fish who is the designer because they do not quote him. I would suggest it's probably uh, some kind of, uh, of in-house arrangement because uh, there is no maker's mark. Or is it? Yeah, there is. Oh, let me zoom in to show you. So, uh, I don't know, it looks like, looks like a dragon with a, with a sword. Or this way, yeah. Anyway, if you know, uh, if somebody who's watched this video and known, knows about the designer, then let me please know and I will quote his whole name or uh, nickname, but uh, he's uh, going under the name Andrew. Okay, so we have a overall length of uh, 19 centimeters, that is 7.5 inches. We have a blank length of 8 centimeters or 3.1 inch. Uh, the width of the blade is 3.2 centimeters, 1.2 inches. The thickness is 3.7 millimeters or 0.14 inches. The handle is 11 centimeters or 0.3 inches with a thickness of 1.5 centimeters or 0.6 inches that is without the pocket clip. Okay, let's run through the materials. So on the blade we have K110, which is a D2 uh, variant with a really beautiful uh, stone wash and then polished uh, blade. So almost, uh, I would say, uh, a stone wash mirror finish so beautiful this will significantly prolong uh, the life expectancy of your blade because it will not corrode and if you're using anything like edci or frog lube or any kind of uh, oils then uh, you will uh, get it even further okay so we have a drop point profile for the scales, we have the coded flex, but it is canvas micarta with uh, skeletonized uh, stainless steel uh, black Teflon coat probably on the on the liners, and we have a liner lock construction. For pew assembly, we have caged uh, ball bearing washers. We have a standard 3D milled, not deep carry pocket clip which is uh, yeah really really stiff so on the uh, really stiff uh, side 
yeah the closing is really smooth for opening we have this probably some kind of, of g10 or i don't know what to call it type of material has really beautiful dark red cherry red uh, accents to it so 3d mill of course to give it a better traction so let's see the so up and down plane whatsoever none so and yeah the lock is perfectly it has a, a little bit of bite to it so now you know that it is perfectly uh, safe uh, to use or also at, at hard conditions but please be careful okay so as markings go we have the petrified fish model number and we have the blade steel here okay let's see the cutting performance on the papers of course basically if it cuts paper it will cut everything else yeah yeah this is scalpel scalpel sharp so yeah beautiful and let me try to show you the the blade finish is really problematic to uh, to focus but yeah this is really nice they done a really great job on this one and I forgot to take you know the tag sorry about that let me do it really quickly okay so let's continue okay so let me show you the the my carta so basically this is a rough style or untreated my carta and as you will use it uh, this is probably the seepage oil from the oils from inside the, uh, the pivot area uh, which runs on caged ball bearing washers so it will take uh, this darker shade let's try to simulate it with isopropyl alcohol you can see really nice nice brown color they done a really nice milling pattern uh, and keep in mind this uh, this does cost uh, extra money because it's a uh, working time on the CNC machine so yeah they done a really great job on this design feels really nice in the hand you have even a decent uh, forward finger troil you can use jimping on the top yeah that's great and function of course uh, decent uh, large lanyard hole for all your lanyard need and this is what I really uh, like to see because uh, lots of companies are using G10 for their backspacers even this is a small a partial backspacer they done it right and they do it with the same micarta that they are using for the scales one thing that does concern me is the stiffness of the pocket clip and this will probably make or break uh, the design if you are considering using it uh, day to day because if it goes uh, problematically in the pants you will probably not carry it and it will stay on the shelf so let's try this out so yes I had to use uh, a higher force to push it down yeah it will stay nicely in there but keep that in mind that uh, the stiffness is is uh, really uh, high but yeah you will be able to, to put it in the pockets uh, if you have let's say a uh, thicker fabric or maybe if you are using cargo pants or cargo shorts or uh, tactical pants so but yeah keep that in mind you can remedy that uh, if you want just to uh, take apart uh, the pocket clip uh, take it down from a knife and just uh, bend it a little bit I don't know if it is stainless steel or titanium let's check it out it is not magnetic so it can be it can be titanium or even aluminium it is not uh, specified okay so the weight and the uh, CVV element is creeping in the picture wait your time it will be right 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 okay so the weight comes at 5.5 uh, ounces that is 126.8 grams so 
not that light but not uh, not that heavy and they are made in china of course okay so now let's see the size comparison so now is your time so here is the cvv elementum he could not wait to make his uh, appearance okay here is the best tech uh, syntax which in my opinion has uh, probably one of uh, one of the best current uh, Chinese micarta scales on a knife that is uh, under $100. Yeah, I forgot to mention the price. So the the pricing will depend on uh, where you're buying it from. So if you are from US, so if you don't uh, live in a European Union and you do not have to pay tax on AliExpress, it will cost you $53.99. Uh, $53 if you are from Europe, uh, yeah, you are on the short end of the stick and you will have to pay 66 euros, which is still uh, a really good price point for uh, a really decent knife. Okay, let's continue. So here is the um, QSP Penguin. Up here my uh, Benchmade Griptilian with my AliExpress Burlet my carter scales. Here is the Buck Sprint Pro. Ace Grant from Giant Mouse. Benchmade Bug Out. CRKT Pillar 1. Spiderco Paramilitary 2 in my carta. CVV Rustic Gent. Here is the red model 1 in my carta. Kaiser Backlighter 2. Small Gliptilian from Benchmade. Red Model 2. Spiderco Delica. Nine forty from Benchmade. Rough Rider Peanut. And let's close it down with the K Bar Doors of Holding Hunter. Okay, so overall, uh, I think we have a really nice, uh, nice design. Uh, keep in mind, this is probably more inclined to a medium size hand because i have excel size hand and uh yeah i'm getting uh full three fingers or maybe three and a half or even when i choke up then i have full four fingers grip definitely like the details so uh, they went uh, really uh, nice with the details so uh talking about the blade talking about the, the these really nice thumb studs there also also they choose a really good quality uh a canvas my carta okay so if you have any questions please leave comments down below i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can of course if you are a subscriber thank you very much a big thumbs up to you and if you are not a subscriber then please consider subscribing do not miss any future videos i try to release at least three videos per week mostly knife and gear oriented but sometimes other stuff regarding my hobbies with that being said wish you a wonderful day help to see you soon